Hey folks, welcome to a special edition of Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Could we see AJ Styles back in Impact Wrestling? Just think about that for a second. Could we see AJ Styles back in Impact Wrestling? Gallows and Anderson were speaking with Sportskedia. Uh, it was an article uh, on the Sportskedia website. Uh, they were doing an interview. And Carl Anderson said, and I quote, Ultimately, we're going to talk AJ Styles into coming back to Impact. That's what we're doing every day. We're texting him and telling him to come back. So, I'll ask again, could we see AJ Styles back in Impact Wrestling? I personally think it's unlikely, but there is a chance. There is a chance. Uh, you could say that he's under contract with the WWE, which he is. He signed a contract uh, last year. He said it would be his last, but he's kind of changing his tune uh, a little bit. He's been changing his tune since um, in, in reference to that being his last contract. And Dixie Carter, Dixie Carter, who he blames for TNA's problems, she's gone. Don Callis, Scott Demore, now running the show. Gals and Anderson, great friends. You know, they, I'm sure they would highly, highly recommend uh, Callis and Damore to, to AJ Styles. You don't know. And, and what, what, what could be the scenario? I know he's under contract. I know he's under contract right now with the WWE, but what would be the scenarios that would have to take place for, for AJ Styles to return to Impact Wrestling? Well, Let's think. Let's think about it. One, he's already voiced his displeasure with Paul Heyman for letting Gallows and Anderson go. What if he's also upset with Vince McMahon for letting Gallows and Anderson go as well? What if he's upset with Vince? What if... Let's let's go through a, a few what-if scenarios. What if he decides three months from now that he's done all he can with the WWE and it's time to move on and to do other things? What if... The ratings keep declining with uh, the WWE and Vince McMahon is losing money and decides he needs to release some wrestlers and AJ Styles is one of them. What if what if any of those scenarios happen? What do you think AJ Styles is going? You think he's going to AEW? No. You think he's going to Impact? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Gallows and Anderson will make sure that. And again, like I said earlier, Gallows and Anderson... They're they're determined to get AJ Styles back into Impact Wrestling, and I just I love that they're doing this. I love that Gals and Anderson are with Impact Wrestling, and they're also ambassadors for Impact Wrestling, trying to bring in bring in talent. I, I love that they're doing that, and to reunite AJ Styles with Gals and Anderson in Impact Wrestling would just be, and I'm going to say the word would just be phenomenal, just be phenomenal. Now. Will this happen? It's not likely. It's not likely, but there is a chance. There is a chance. You'll never say never in pro wrestling. There is a chance we could see AJ Styles reuniting with Gallows and Anderson in Impact Wrestling. And who knows, maybe they could reform the Bullet Club in Impact Wrestling and they could travel back and forth from New Japan uh, to Impact uh, as the Bullet Club, and they could bring some Bullet Club members from New Japan into Impact Wrestling. It 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 could all work out. And I personally, and I'm sure everybody agrees with me, I would absolutely love to see that. But again, an unlikely scenario. But again, never say never in professional wrestling. So it's something that's that's interesting. I again, I Gallows and Anderson. I don't think. I don't think they're going to stop. They say they're texting AJ Styles every day, telling him to come back. If if five months down the road, AJ Styles decides that he's had enough with the WWE and he wants out of his contract and they let him out of his contract and he, and he signs a contract with Impact Wrestling, I, I'd be so happy. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. I'd, I'd be very, very happy, but not surprised. I would think that... Um, after reading what Gals and Anderson are doing, you, you're kind of expecting this to happen eventually or sometime down the road uh, that we'll get a, or at least within two years, at least within the two years that Gals and Anderson are with Impact Wrestling, that we'll see AJ Styles reunite with Gals and Anderson in Impact Wrestling. So 
let's uh, let's keep our eyes on that scenario. Let's definitely keep our eyes on that scenario. Now, Kimberly, Kimberly has officially signed a contract with Impact Wrestling, and uh, B, uh, BQ did a podcast, a standalone podcast on that, and he talked about Kimberly um, signing the contract. I'm just gonna say. Impact Wrestling, you locked in Kimberly. Now is the time to lock in and sign Diona Perrazzo. And I want to see that announcement within the next week. Within the next week. Because Impact Wrestling has announced uh, Emergence. There's going to be a two-week special called Impact Wrestling Emergence. And one of the matches signed, and it's a huge match. It's Diona Perrazzo defending the knockouts title against the person she beat for it. Jordan Grace. So I think that's I think that's the main event for for Emergence Night Two. Uh, that's the only a match. That's the only match that's been announced. So uh, Emergence. Um, I'm looking forward to that. I'm sure we're gonna have some great matches. But I'm saying if the Prazo hasn't signed within a week, I'm thinking Jordan Grace is gonna regain that title from the Prazo on um, during Emergence Night Two. Uh, but I'm hoping that they that they sign her to a uh, two or three year deal, and um, and that's it. And let's keep our fingers crossed for AJ Styles. Okay, let's 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 uh, let's pray to the wrestling gods that AJ Styles returns to Impact Wrestling because I personally would absolutely love to see it, and I'm pretty sure. Everybody listening right now, or most people listening right now, would love to see that as well. And on that note, I'm going to say thank you so much for listening to this special edition of Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.